everybody, welcome back. Falcon, RimWorld Zombie Apocalypse. Before we get the game going on, two things I want to address really quickly. Um, number one, apologies for the last four episodes, I'm going to say. I recently, my old microphone died on me a while back, so I had to get a new one. However, when you get a new microphone, you kind of have to kind of start messing around with the settings, making sure that um, what you're recording is going to sound right um, post-production, right? So I've been kind of struggling with that a little bit with the new microphone that I do have. So I apologize. I know those four videos, once I uploaded them to YouTube, they didn't sound good to me. And I'm kind of like really a stickler when it comes to audio. So I'm sure a lot of you will notice. Some probably won't notice because you're not maybe a stickler as much as I am about audio quality. But at least to me, it sounded really bad. So I do apologize for that. I Hopefully with this recording onward, I have fixed that issue. I think I have gotten the right settings that I need to go. So... Audio doesn't sound so bad, so number one, apologies for that. Number two, we have a few renames, so let's see here. We have, who do we have? We have Alexander Fay over here. He's going to be one of my um, melee guys. I'm going to start focusing a little bit on melee. He has um, Devil Strand equipment. That's my phone going off. Phone, I'm trying to record right now. What are you doing? You know the routine. When I record, you don't make any noises. Otherwise, you show up in the recording and it sounds kind of really unprofessional. Let me mute you. Apologies about that. <laughs> We're off to a great start. We have uh, Alexander Faze to be one of my melee guys. I gave him some power armor to avoid bites. Is that going to completely negate bites altogether? Probably not, but we have to kind of take a risk here because uh, melee, at least with slashing weapons, is really effective against zombies. So on occasion, you know, you can't just um, shoot everything because zombies um, kind of overrun you quite a bit. So Alexander Faye, welcome aboard. I hope you last long enough because you are a melee dude. We also have... Let's see, who is this? Banana Bandits. So Banana Bandits, welcome aboard. You've also been renamed. We also have uh, Capitan Rabbit over here. So Captain Rabbit, welcome aboard. And we also have Brandon Farkas. So if I rename somebody again or I mentioned you again, hey, you know, I just got you a second shout out. If not, I think these are the new people that I renamed after the last episode. So there you go. Now, the other thing you might see a little bit different is that there is a lot of stuff that's been already hauled and moved. I did this off camera because I was... um hauling off camera number one number two what i wanted to do more importantly was actually equip everybody with um proper weapons proper equipment so i've done that so if you see this a little bit different from the last episode don't freak out nothing's happened all i did was i took the time off camera to actually re-equip people and get all the proper equipment moved over from one person to another and i think i have a pretty good setup now so all that said and done let's get the game going on over here and let's see let's actually start thinking about what we're doing here i have the Rock chunks being hauled off over to this area because we want to set up a little bit of a perimeter to slow zombies down to a degree. So that's going to be good. Set, second thing we probably need is some turrets up here up front. So um, let's see about doing this. Let's go into security really quickly here. Improvised turret. Mm, we want to make sure that we get the intro. Oh, there you go. That's perfect as a matter of fact. So we'll probably do something like along the lines of here. I think that works out. And then we'll skip one. Actually, well, if we want to put up some some stone walls in between, that would actually help out. So we could do that. Do this. Do that. Do this. It's going to cost us a lot of metal, obviously. Do we have the metal for this? Uh, 300 metal only. I think we have some that we have to haul off, though. So we might be able to pull it off. Let's just do it this way for now. And then we'll try to do the rest of it over here. So how about we go into structures. We'll go into stone blocks. So we have one there, so we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this and this. How about we just kind of line it down here for now already? Get this out of the way. It's going to require a lot of um, building on our part, but we should be able to do it just well, I'm going to say. And let's see, how about we just get one more turret over here, assuming we can even build that one. So we'll do that. Okay, now, the other thing we need to do is also set some up over here. Um, so we're going to skip one, so this will be here. And we'll do... Oh. Yeah, research is done. Hydroponics is done, finally. We also have a person researching. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is, um, which I'll get to right now. What do we want to build next, um, or research next? Let's go in. I guess machining, sure, why not? <clears throat> okay, so we have that set up. The other thing I did was in overview, I went and started doing back to manual priorities. I kind of took a little bit of time to plan this out so I didn't have, like, ones for everybody so we could kind of, like, distribute work properly. I think this will work, so... We're no longer doing the auto ones. I'm going to do it this way so that we have people actually focusing on hauling because I think that's one of the problems that's been happening recently. We're not hauling items or, well, items to where they should be going. So hopefully this will kind of alleviate that process a little bit. Let's go into structure. We'll do stone wall. 
here, here, and here. And let's go into security. We'll do improvised turret. Bam, bam, and bam. I'd rather have you connect to this wall down here, but okay. We'll just reconnect it afterwards. So this is how we're going to do this right now. We probably need some, I guess, um, rock chunks hauled over here. But my ultimate plan is to move these guys back over here once I extend the perimeter of the wall. Because I want to kind of incorporate this and this into the actual progress here. But we'll do that later right now. I think it's probably better to get the turrets up and running first. And then we'll expand the perimeter afterwards. So hopefully that works out. And let's see. Um, we're actually harvesting the Devil Strand finally. Um, we're probably going to get too much of it. But I do have Bougie over here working on making hats. So we're going to have some Devil Strand hats, some cowboy hats, because obviously we've been missing to, um, the cowboy hats for quite a minute now. And I feel that, you know, what colony is complete without the um, actual cowboy hats? So let me do one more stone wall right about here. Okay. Mental break soon. That's going to be Brandon Farkas. Brandon, what's going on, bro? What's with the uh, mental break here? Let's find out. Thoughts. Uh, prisoner was executed. Had an unpleasant conversation and sharing a bedroom. Well, uh, the sharing the bedroom thing I'm going to try to fix kind of soon. I'm going to block off some of these walls so that we have like smaller rooms because right now this is considered one huge room. But, um, hmm. Actually, let me look at this really quickly. I was told that, you know, sharing bedroom stacks, but it doesn't seem that way. It's only negative eight with all this. So usually when it stacks, it's like times two, times three, times four, which I don't see to be the case right now. So I'm not sure. Like somebody told me like Falcon... The more people you have in a room, the more it stacks, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. It doesn't seem that way, but I don't know. I'm occasionally wrong a lot of the time, so <laughs> I guess we'll see how that works out for us. We have some metal over here that we can kind of haul off for those turrets that we're building, though, so that is the upside to this whole equation here. Let's see. Yeah, we're still trying to um, recruit some people here. Oh, and the person that, you know how it said um, we executed a person? I did execute a person off camera because I realized he had no leg. That's the reason why he wasn't um, being... Well, remember when we recruited Octav? And Octav, um, it said, um, when we recruited him, he just knocked out immediately. It's because he had no legs, so he can't move. That's why he's always, um, you know, incapacitated. So what happened was that, you know, you need to install a peg leg, obviously. But we have no sort of um, capability to do that yet because, you know, we've been running into trade ships to, you know, find spare legs and shit to that degree. So, And I can't build my own peg leg, so that's the reason why... We are not going to be able to do that. We had to execute him, basically. So Octav wasn't renamed because, you know, he had no leg. He couldn't do shit. So what's the point of having him around, right? Then again, Razor Captain has no arms. So maybe Razor Captain... Better watch out, buddy. You might be next in line. Is Razor Captain even working? Does he even do anything now? I mean, I'd imagine with no legs, he's probably kind of bad off. No, he's actually... He is, you know, growing food. <laughs> I'm not sure how he's doing it without any arms. He's probably using his feet. If so, then, you know, you can't really fault the guy. He's, you know, getting some work done, regardless of which. So, speaking of which, um, we are also these hats. Where are these hats going, by the way? Here we go. Bougie, you want to grab this hat, bro? Wear that. Uh, Jay-Z, I'm sorry I'm about to cover your sweet mohawk, but, you know, put this hat on over here, my friend. Yeah, alrighty. And those Devil Strand hats are actually kind of really good in terms of defense purposes, so they should help us out to a degree. Alrighty, so while we're over here building this up, I obviously need to extend these walls downward a little bit more, but I also don't want to um, interfere with the building of the turrets too much. So I want the turrets built first, then we'll bit, uh, we'll set up the walls here and whatnot. We're out of uh, metal completely over here, but there is metal down here. They just have to haul that up and bring it over here to build the turrets. So I think that should still work out for us to a degree. Now, if we go around over here, there's some more stuff to haul off, but this isn't really too important. Although there is a few weapons we could probably use, like the pump shotgun, grenades... M16 would be pretty nice as well. And what about the old um, siege spot? Yeah, there's a light machine gun over here. M24. Oh my lord, there's a few M24s here as a matter of fact. We should probably get those hauled off. Mental break soon. Who is this? Captain Rabbit and Brandon Farkas. What is your problem, guys? Is it the bedroom thing again? Pessimist. Well, you know what? Captain Rabbit was always upset apparently because of the pessimist. Sharing the bedroom and prisoner was executed. It's really affecting you so much. You didn't even know the guy. We were just shooting at him a while ago, and then we brought him in and we executed him afterwards. It's fine to kill him outside, but once you, you know, imprison him and kill him, it's like, oh no, that's too much, Falcon. You shouldn't do that. It's like, you know what? Captain Rabbit and Brandon Farkas, you guys need to relax, okay? Let me turn these bad boys off to conserve some energy. Meanwhile, I don't think that those mental breaks will turn into much of a bigger issue, but we will keep our eye on it just in case. What I want them to do actually haul these rocks more importantly right now. 
And it is Captain's, uh, it's Captain Rabbit's birthday today. She turned 32. Aw, oh, isn't that a cute Captain Rabbit? <laughs> she turned 32. I'm sorry, Captain Rabbit, you're not a female, but you unfortunately did draw a female as your companion here. Um, you're off. You're also off. You're off. And you are off. So this guy needs to be turned off now. Good. What do we have here? You oh, sweet. So who is this? Evan. Evan the Surgeon. Ooh, that could be a pretty good doctor for us. Believe me, you could have been helpful when we were missing a dude with a leg. Hyperweave. Synthroid Pants. Okay, I'm liking that. Now let's see your stats here. We have, uh, he's slot full, so he's gonna be really, really slow in terms of working. Construction 1, Growing 3, Research 3, Mining 1, Shooting 3, Melee 3, Social 9, eh, you know, eh. Art could go fuck itself forever, but social and medicine isn't too bad, so sure, yeah, we'll grab you, why the hell not? Um, so let's see here, who could get this done for us? Jay-Z, what are you doing? Hauling boar skin shirt to stockpile? Yeah, yeah, you know what, do that first, and I'll have you come and rescue Evan, how about that? But you're hauling a rock chunk now, which is actually important, but let me grab Evan first. So capture him, and we'll be pretty good on that one. All right. So again, hauling is our big main deal right now, but also it's uh, building these turrets. I think if we have these turrets up and running, we should be able to stave off some zombie attacks. Obviously, we'll lose some turrets in the process, but you know, it is what it is. Machining has been done. All right, let's go into... Let's go into carpet making. Why the hell not? Speaking of which, I need to start flooring down my area as well. I want to set up some paved tiles over here, number one, to hopefully make the area a little bit more pretty to look at. But at the same time, we also need to put down some wooden planks over here. Maybe some over here, but again, it's more important to build a turret. So if I start giving them, um, you know, options to build the floors, that's going to take um, priority after the turrets, and I'd rather have the turrets built first and foremost. So that is something in our list of things to do, but it's going to have to wait a little bit here. And also these sun lamps, by the way, fuck these sun lamps. They don't even work at nighttime anymore. So you know what? I've had enough of them. We are going to deconstruct these bad boys because they don't do shit. I guess the sun lamps are only useful if you're going to be, be growing indoors. But since this right here is outdoors, what's the point? Although I figure they should probably stay there if I ever decide to encase this whole area with a roof so we don't have any drop-ins. And we all know how bad drop-ins treat Falcons. So <clears throat> have I learned my lesson? Probably not. But at the same time, we do need a few openings so we can launch mortars whenever we start building mortars for the uh, sieges. Because... Remember, we've already dealt with two sieges without mortars, and that's been kind of an issue. Um, Yeah, no, I'm gonna just say fuck it to this, though. Deconstruct that and that. We don't need it. Now, do we need the power conduits now that we've taken that out of commission? Probably not this one over here going down, I would imagine, right? <clears throat> or that one. So we should probably just deconstruct this over here. I hope it doesn't cave in on me. I hope that's not a load-bearing pillar right there. If it is, then that's gonna be a problem. Take this off, and take this off through here. Let's look at that. Let's look at this pillar. I'm a little bit worried about it. It's forward time here. Oh, Decimus! <laughs> oh no, he just killed him. No, Nindava, you killed Decimus. Well, in case you guys were wondering, it was a load-bearing pillar, as a matter of fact, because it just landed on Decimus and destroyed his life. Ah, oh, fuck me, really? You know, it's one thing to lose a, a person whenever you're, you know, out in combat, but it's another thing to just lose them because you're an idiot like I am. Okay. Well, that kind of rubs me the wrong way, honestly. Decimus, I apologize, my friend. You're actually one of our better shooters right now, too, which we actually do need. That's going to be a problem. Nandava, take care of him, and Decimus, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to burn you, my friend, so let's turn this bad boy on over here. Who is my burner around here? <laughs> yeah, I apologize, my friend. That's not what I meant to do. At all. Why aren't you online anymore? There you go. <clears throat> so Decimus, where is our uh, Bougie? Bougie. No, he's not a... Who's my crafter right now? Bougie. Hmm. Well, he needs to be burned. So, Banana Bandits, uh, yeah. Haul him off before he turns into a zombie. <clears throat> Somebody needs to come over here and burn him. <coughs> I apologize for being so crash about it, but it's true. We do... There he goes, Bougie. I'm sorry, Decimus. It wasn't supposed to be this way. I'm an idiot. Forgive me. You all knew that by now, though. Turn this off. Mental Breaks to Brandon Farkas and Little Pip. And what do we have here? We have an involuntary hermit from Bando. Cod is visiting the colony. Yeah, you know what? You're not going to replace um, Decimus Fermito random invite, so you can just fuck off here. 
Let me turn this bad boy off. We're almost done here. We need one more, two more to be built. I hope we have enough metal for it. I should probably start mining to get some more metal, but at the same time, I'd rather them focus on building first and foremost. We should have enough, though, because otherwise it would tell me, like, hey, you know what? You don't have enough, um... Yeah, you don't have enough uh, items for this project here. So carpet making is now done. We'll probably go with um, electric smelting. Sure, why not? Alrighty. So, that's a problem. It sucks, but, you know, it happened. It is what it is sometimes. Uh, speaking of hats, the Wild Coyote, you know what? Since you are a melee dude, you should probably get this hat on you. There you go. I'm sorry, I know you were carrying something important for us, probably, but... Thank you. There you go. Now you have a sweet hat. Speaking of hats, how many more hats do we have up here? We have one, two, two more hats, right? Uh, let's make sure that my melee people have hats on over here. So who is the other dude? Wild Cody, you already have one. No, you. Brandon Farkas needs one. Brandon Farkas is uh, cooking a simple meal, having a mental break. Brandon Farkas, how about would a, would a hat make you happy? Hats usually make everybody happy, man. Go put that on. Uh, Nandava, you don't really fight, so what's the point? Wahid Naim? Sure, why not? Come and grab yourself the other Devil Strand hat. We're going to make enough hats for everybody. I think we have enough uh, material for that, right? Zombie leather, human leather. Where's my double strand at? Hmm. I hope we have enough. <clears throat> okay, so Ewan the surgeon is finally. Oh, you know what? I didn't even set this guy up for recruitment, did I? Ewan. Ewan. Try to recruit. And friendly chats. There you go. And, you know, I guess I'll leave that here for emergency purposes, but we're not really using that bed. Alrighty, colonist idol, Little Pip. Little Pip is really nothing else for you to do. I find that really surprising, Little Pip. Uh, mining, growing. Well, you know what, since you're a miner one, let's actually start mining for a little bit more silver here. So, let's see, where do we want to start mining? And where do I want to set these kind of like quasi rooms up is the real question here. Mm, let me zoom out here a little bit. Well, <clears throat> how about we start just kind of mining out randomly to find some metal perhaps, so... Let's just have you keep going down this way, and then somebody else could probably give you a hand with this little area over here. Just mine that out for now, and then we'll see what else kind of comes about out from that. I think three is a little bit too wide. Maybe we should just be using... Oh, we just unleashed another area. Oh, wit! A steam geyser involved. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so one second here. We have... Um, oh, we got Monroe. Monroe's been uh, recruited, and a new area's been revealed. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's right there in front of me. So... Banana Bandits are recruiting Monroe. Let's go over to Monroe here, see what you're all about. You're the Illuminator. And let's see, Research 6, Growing 3, Social 7, Medicine 6, and not really a good fighter as well. Losing Desim is really hurts, man, because he was one of my few decent fighters. And by decent, I mean like a 6 in shooting, which is, you know, the best I could really ask for right now. But you're a pretty good doctor, so I'll give you that. Turn this off. Warden, you know, you're not bad at recruiting, so let's give you like uh, a 2 or something. What about cooking? Not really. Hunting? No. Constructing? Let's have you go into mining as well, since we're doing some mining now. And we could probably follow it up with a little bit of cleaning. And hauling's always important. Art could go fuck itself forever. Research. Uh, we already have a researcher. Alrighty, so we'll go this way. Uh, in Monroe, you might probably need some better equipment, right? Gear. We have iguana skin. Synth. Well, you know, you're not too bad off. You just need, like, a better shirt. Boomrad. Mmm... Let's give you the Devil Strand Tribal Wear. That's probably better than the duster you're wearing, which is um, just made out of um, some regular shitty skin, I do believe. And you could probably get this Hyper Weave shirt on. There you go. And you already have an armor vest. Now you probably need a weapon of some kind. You're not really a great shot, though. So what do we go with here? Do I really want to give you a light machine gun? I guess we have no other choice, right? Yeah, equip that. Okay. <clears throat> now, the other thing we need to do is haul these rock chunks we actually are doing now. Good. Yeah. Do this, like, in mass production, guys, because we need to set these uh, defenses up properly. Our turrets were enough to be built, which I'm happy about. Meaning now we could actually focus on building the rest of these stone walls here. So we'll do... Hmm... Let's see here. I guess we could do probably down through here. Down through here. This, this... This and this. Okay. Now, my ultimate plan here is to set this up with turrets all around. This needs to be moved back, obviously. But my ultimate plan is to set up turrets all along the edges. And then we'll have, like, little walkways for our people to kind of walk around. We'll probably set up a door somewhere around here so that when... 
I guess, um, raiders or zombies do attack because they have to deal with the turrets or go through the door. But either way, it gives us a little bit of chance to retreat inside just in case. So that's my ultimate plan right now. So we'll see if it works out. I always make a lot of plans, but do they ever pan out? Who knows? Captain Rabbit Mental Break soon. Probably same thing as usual. Alrighty. How's your food situation? We have seven meals, eight meals. We have um, this set up for... How many meals, as a matter of fact? 25. So we have people cooking non-stop at all times, which is important because we got off of the meat system because people were having uh, mental breaks about it. So that's good right there. Stone walls have been built relatively fast, too. Good job. Electric smelting is done now. We'll go into fertilizer pump. Sure, why not? Get that out of the way as well. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, lo and behold, I think we could probably even call it an episode here. We've uh, done some pretty good stuff. I'm happy about it. All of our turrets are connected online. You're connected to this, though. I want you to connect to the wall, so I'll have to switch that up soon. As a matter of fact, I should probably do that now. Because we all know about how Falcon forgets shit later on, right? Oh, look at those rock chunks being moved. Now that's how you move stuff. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, ho -ho! oh, God. Well, it was bound to happen, right? There it is. Perfect time to call it an episode. Do we survive? Find out next episode, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support really does mean a lot, not only for the series, but for the channel itself. Secondly, I'm sorry, Decimus. I'll catch you guys next time.